It says mean value theorem can be applied to which of the following functions on that closed interval. So it can be applied if it's continuous on that interval and differentiable on that interval. So that's all you really need to do is, is check that. You don't actually have to work out full mean value theorem. You're just testing the if part of it, the conditional part of it. Okay, so that's what I'm going to do. And this is how I did it, like in my head anyway, and then maybe go back around and check. But this first one, if you do the derivative, right away you can see that the power is less than one. So that means when you do the derivative, it's going to be less than zero. The power is going to be less than zero. So we'll just say the n is the power. If it's less than zero, that means it's on the bottom. If it's on the bottom, you can divide by zero. So is zero in this domain of the interval? It is, so it cannot be a. Because if you actually did the derivative, I'll write it out really quick, you're going to get two-thirds x to the negative one-third. That means if you plug in zero, you're going to have undefined. Well, you can't be undefined with mean value theorem, so a is not the answer for that. Okay, but you could do that whole thing without even writing anything down. So that's probably the fastest way to do it. This next one, it's a sharp turn. Sharp turns aren't differentiable. It's a sharp turn at x equals one. Um, so it's not this one either because of the sharp turn. It's not differentiable. There. There's no local linearity for that. So the derivative is not existent at that point, x equals one. And x equals one is in the domain. All right, this next one, uh, if you did do the derivative, the bottom of it's just going to be x minus five squared. I don't care what the top is. Okay, it's just a bunch of stuff. We don't really need to worry about it. We need to worry about where you're dividing by zero. Okay, you can't divide by five or divide by zero here if x is equal to five. You can't do it here either with the derivative. So this, this is meant to be part of the derivative. I just didn't want to waste the time on the numerator. Well, five is not in the domain. So this one actually will work. Okay, the bottom one is the same thing as c, only it's x equals two. Well, two is in the domain and you'd be dividing by zero there. You don't have to even check the derivative. So the answer for that one is c. 